Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I will be doing Selby and Venusaur GX Tag Team Decklist. Uh, this is a Pokemon I'll be playing. I'll be playing three copies of uh, Venusaur and Selby. The first attack is Grass and two colorless is it does 50 and your opponent's Pokemon is Confuse, Burn, Confuse, Burn and Poison. Uh, the other attack is uh, two grass and two colorless. It does 150, and uh, just it just does 150. So I don't think there's anything on that. Uh, the GX is the same cost, about the same cost. It's two grass, two colorless, and if it has an extra um, energy, it shuffles all your discard pile back into your deck, and the damage that it does is 180. So that's pretty legit. I like that GX. Um, basically, you're never gonna deck out. Uh, your resources are gonna be shuffled. They're gonna shuffle back into your deck, so you're not gonna run out of anything really. Uh, the other tech I have is two copies of Volvasaur and two copies of Venusaur. Um, everybody knows, you know, the reason why you would run this is because the ability. One grass turns into two grass, so it was just easier to use his attacks. I uh, have one copy of the Ryzen. Uh, the reason why I just one copy is because I like, I need to draw the first turn. If I can, I'll just use that. Also, uh, it second attack, it does, it does 50. If you play a supporter, you do about 80 more damage. So, I mean, if I go some anything out, I can knock it out. But uh, just one copy for me though. My thoughts, because basically Venus over here is 270. It's not gonna die that easily. And uh, I just need to drop mostly. Or the GX, I can just pick up you know, my bench, as many Pokemon as I want, and put it into my hand. Uh, you're in our end group. If I have a small hand, I can just draw up to three Lele to get my supporter and uh, one line of Sceptile. Uh, what's called this? Grow Bile, the ability it says I can grab any, any or a basic, it says. Okay, it says I can get one grass Pokemon for my deck into my hand, I believe. And then for Sceptile, uh, the ability, I like the ability, just like, just in case I go against uh, Felicifon. Uh -huh. For the ability, I like it because if I go against a Beast Fire Pokemon, I mean, I'm not going to get destroyed or... For this one's for the ability for go against uh, Ultra Beast Pokemon. You know, if it has an energy attached, I get no damage. So that's pretty cool. And the attack, it says 20 per each energy. So I have Venusaur and this. It's gonna do a lot of damage. For the items, I'm playing four Ultra Balls, three Net Balls so I can get my uh, basic Grass Pokemon or a Grass Energy, two Timer Balls so I can get uh, Venusaur out, four Red Candies so I can evolve to Venusaur. Uh, I want to run three, but I actually need four just in case of Sceptile I can get it out. Uh, two copies of Order Pass so I can get my Red Candy, three copies of Acrobite so the deck will go a little more faster, three copies of Judge Whistle once again to make the deck a little more faster for that. Uh, I run one energy switch and one multi switch. The energy switch is just in case I need that grass energy in the front, I can play that. A uh, multi switch just in case if I have a DCE on the bench, switch it to the front to uh, Venusaur and Salvi. I can do 150 or I can just do that GX for 180 and shuffle my deck back. Uh, one risky stretcher, one field blower. Uh, again, the GX just brings everything back into the deck. So I don't need to really run much copies of these things. Uh, well, <laughs> for the red candy I do, you know, but for the stretcher or the field blower, you know, they'll come back again and, uh, and I can just discard everything again with the ultra ball. 
but yeah, this is the items. This is a portal line, it's pretty small. I play four Cynthia's, three Guzmas, two Lilies, one Apricot Maker. Uh, I always like to start Lele to Lily, so I can get, you know, either Netball or Ultra Ball or the Rare Candy, you know what I mean? To, uh, to get the most if I can, the most I can in the first turn. Um, Apricot Maker, uh, I'll play one copy because I don't think I really need it much. But there are that time where I actually need an energy in hand, so I would just play it to get the net ball, get the grass, and attach a return. Uh, Guzma's, you know, for that, so I can just Guzma my opponent's bench, and I can hit for 150. Uh, Cynthia, shuffle my hand, and draw 6. Um, this is a small line of supporters, but... Cynthia keeps helping me a lot, so I, I kind of like it, and I really need do need the items to uh, get the deck going. For Stadium, I only have one, and it is Life Forest. Uh, in Japan's deck list, I did see three Shamans. I feel like if you have those in the bench, uh, they're just taking space to do something else. Uh, I tried it, I didn't like it. So, I'm only running this. Then again, uh, Selby and Venusaur, they're 270, so they're not gonna get KO right away. Um, but I feel like Shaman does take a lot of bench, and you can actually pull another Pokemon that can actually be like your second hitter or just support uh, Venusaur and Selby. The line that I run for energy is four DCEs and seven grass energies uh, it works pretty fine with me i don't i don't see a problem uh the reason why i run dces is for the fact that my first turn if i attach a grass and then by the next turn I, i'm able to evolve to venusaur it turns into two grass so i just only attach a dce and i can do 150 and by the next turn you know i attach another grass energy and i can do the gx for 180 and shuffle my discard pile back to my deck uh people tell me just run straight grass but really though i feel like the dces do come in handy if i do have two grass uh energies on you no know, uh venusaur and Selby, while venusaur is in play with the ability i just attach a dce just to do the 180 and have that extra energy to shuffle my deck to the discard pile i mean find my bad to shuffle my discard pile back into my deck Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is this is my deck list for Selby and Venusaur GX. If you guys like the video, please press a thumbs up or like. Either whatever it is, just click that button. Uh, if you like to subscribe, go for it. Uh, just letting you know, my deck lists are not meta like deck lists. They're not top tier meta. I do this for fun. I don't see me doing crazy decks. Well, they are kind of crazy sometimes, but <laughs> uh, yeah, if you like them, cool. Um, go ahead, copy the deck list. If you think you can do something different, let me know. Put a comment down there and be like, hey, you can do this or do that. I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching.